Alright, hi guys, welcome to Fishy Business. My name is Reagan and this is the Saltwater Weekly Update for the week. I'm going to show you some of the fish that I got in this week, some small, some large for different size aquariums. Alright, so now let's go look at the fish. So this is the Picasso Trigger, also known as the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a. Um, this is probably one of the most sought after and most popular trigger fish to have in the aquarium just based off of their coloration. Um, this guy right now is super tiny. He's probably only about an inch long. Full grown, the Picassos will get about 10 inches. So they will need a very large aquarium. They're also going to be a little bit more aggressive, so keeping them with more predatory and aggressive fish is going to be uh, where they're going to do their best. <laughs> now, trigger fish are not reef safe only because they're going to eat snails, crabs, and shrimp. They will not touch your coral. So if you don't care about having a cleanup crew, this, these, uh, the trigger fish are still perfectly safe to add with your coral. So this is the dog face puffer fish. Now this guy is going to get very large. Um, they're going to grow to about a foot long. If you guys know what tubs looks like in our store, our uh, store pet puffer fish, this guy is going to get around that exact same size. Now the dog face puffer, they're going to be more of an aggressive fish. Um, these guys, and like I said, the Picasso trigger fish, they're actually going to do very well together. Uh, they're both predatory, more, both aggressive. This guy, if you look, he has a beak in the front. It is a very, very sharp beak. He will eat your shrimp, he will eat your crabs, and he will eat your snails, for sure. Um, this guy also is going to need to eat a lot of meaty foods, um, chunky, LRS frozen foods. This guy right here also eats live guppies, so live food is also going to be a good option for them. Like I said, since they do get a foot, they are going to need a very, very large tank, at least 100 gallons, if not bigger. So if you want to try this guy, I highly recommend it. They have great, great personalities. will always be right in the front of the aquarium like this guy. Highly recommend the dog face puffer. This is the red spot hawkfish, or the Caribbean red spotted hawkfish. This guy is only going to get about three inches long, so these guys do great in smaller aquariums, but you can also put them in larger aquariums as well. These guys are going to be reef safe with caution again. Not really going to eat your coral, but they will go after some of your cleanup crew. Do recommend keeping these guys with a little bit more of aggressive fish just because they will go after, like I said, your cleanup crew, but they'll also go after some of the smaller fish in your aquarium, whatever's going to fit in their mouth. Now that being said, this guy does not eat live food, so I doubt he's going to go after any of your fish, but just to be on the safe side, might want to place him with fish that are a little bit larger than he is. Um, because of that, because of his diet, he is a carnivore, feeding him a variety of marine meats um, are going to do this guy really good. This is the Atlantic Blue Tang. Um, these guys are reef compatible, so you can add them to your reef aquarium with a cleanup crew and coral. These guys are going to be omnivores, so they do need to get that seaweed a few times a week um, that I always talk about with tanks. But they're also going to eat meaty foods such as brine shrimp and mysis shrimp as well. Um, this guy has already got his adult colors because you can see that he's blue. The juveniles actually start out more of a yellowish gold color. As most tanks, he's going to get fairly large, around 7 to 9 inches for this guy. It is aggressive towards other tanks and surgeon fish, but will be completely peaceful with every other fish in the aquarium. So this is a Valentini puffer fish. Now this one's a lot larger than the ones I typically get in. This one is classified as a jumbo Valentini puffer. They're not going to get any bigger than this. This is completely full grown for a Valentini puffer. Now Valentini puffers stay fairly small for puffer fish, which is really nice because a lot of people want puffer fish, but they don't have the size aquarium that's needed for say like the dog face that we talked about earlier. So a Valentini is always a great option that I like to show people. Now the Valentinis um, are going to be, you know, more of a predatory fish. Like all puffers, they're going to eat snails, crabs, and shrimp. So be careful if you want to add these, if you have any of those in your tank already. Other than that though, these guys are a very, very um, peaceful fish. They're going to be able to live with tangs. I can live with antheas. I can live with a bunch of different things. Great community fish, have great personalities, um, will always pretty much be front and center, will come to you, will learn, will actually learn you. So if you walk up to the tank and you're the person that feeds them and takes care of them, they'll actually swim up to the wall or the glass every time that you come up. Highly recommend this guy. Uh, their diet should consist of meaty foods, 
squid, krill, clams, um, and some hard shell shrimp to help wear down that beak. All right, so this is a Royal Brahma, um, or the Royal Brahma Basilet. They bring a very bright burst of color into your home aquarium with that bright fuchsia purple on the front half and then the bright electric yellow on the back half. Now these guys are only going to get about three inches long so they can go in tanks such as a bio cube. They only need about 30 gallons minimum for them to be completely happy. I do recommend that if you want to get one of these guys that you only keep one of them in the aquarium. Uh, they're peaceful towards pretty much anything else but they will be very aggressive towards other royal dramas. So like I said, make sure that you do keep them singly in the aquarium. They are carnivores. They're gonna need to eat a very meat-rich diet, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, as well as bigger meaty pieces of some marine meat, such as octopus, squid, um, and clams as well. All right, I finally, finally was able to get in some flame cardinals. Now these are my favorite type of cardinal fish due to their color um, and their patterns on their eyes and their bodies. These guys are just extremely stunning fish. They do better in groups, so you uh, can keep a lot of them together. They don't get very big, so you can even keep these in smaller aquariums, like I mentioned about the Royal Grama as well. Now, these guys are very, very peaceful. Um, they can get along with pretty much anything else in the tank. They are slow and methodical swimmers, so they probably aren't gonna do super great with anything that's really flighty. They're not going to be mean towards them, but they do prefer a more slow environment. These guys are going to be more nocturnal, so you might see them more active in the evening or when the light goes down. Even though they're nocturnal, they're still going to be out during the day, they just won't be as active. Now these guys require a well-balanced um, diet of meaty foods such as shrimp, marine flesh, bloodworms, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp anything like that that's going to give them the meat and the uh, vitamin enriched foods that they need. All right guys thanks for watching please come check out all the rest of the fish that I got in this week. I have such an array of different fish reef safe non-reef safe predatory super calm and peaceful I will have anything that you need for your aquarium please come down and check those out. Please follow us on Facebook Instagram and please subscribe and follow us on our YouTube channel. We are getting back into the self-help videos as well. Those are released on the weekends, on Saturday, so make sure that you keep an eye out for those. Your freshwater weekly update will be tomorrow, so also keep an eye out for that. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next week.